first we measure and cut the metal cable. So I have about uh, 20 to 23 feet and uh, I just use the roto split and that's a tool to cut the MC cable. Um, and I'm just gonna use a uh, cable cutter now to get it cut. I'm gonna take one end of it and cut out about uh, five, six inches. This is the exposed wire that's gonna go into the uh, metal box. On the other side, I am going to only expose about two inches. That's where the plug is gonna go is going to be attached to. Here are the two ends, uh, one about five, six inches, the other one only about two inches long. Next thing we're going to do is attach the small or the shorter end to a male plug like this one. Uh, this is my favorite um, heavy duty very comfortable grip mail plug. Um, I bought this from Amazon and I'm gonna put the link in the description. This is I think about $3 and it's worth every penny. This is a great um, mail plug. The next step that we want to do is working on the inside of this box. Um, first we're going to do is uh, make a hole right here. So just punch this out and uh, we're going to put the cable through and we're going to use a steel collar to ensure that the cable does not move around once it's in there. This is a steel collar right here. And the way it works is that uh, you just loosen the, the screw and put this in. Hold on a second. Let me loosen the screw. And uh, this comes in two pieces. There's a, a nut and the screw part. So the screw part usually gets attached in the front like this and the nut part or like a washer goes inside and you screw it in so that it catches the, the screw and keeps the uh, uh, this collar in place. The collar ensures that the uh, the cable does not run around or move around so that there is no abrasive um, behavior uh, for for the cable here so it will be completely uh, safe for a long period of time um, that this product is going to be uh, used Hang on a second, let me tighten this Okay, there you go. And we're going to put the cable through. Before we put the cable through, don't forget to put a plastic uh, collar uh, around the cable. This is to protect against the sharp edges of the Romex. I mean, I'm sorry, not the Romex, the metal cable sheathing. Uh, those edges are sharp and uh, it may rub against the, uh, the cable in the future. That's the purpose of this red color and once you're ready just uh, stick it in there and oh, I need to open this up a little bit more so that we can put the entire metal cable in there 
including the sheeting. And then we're gonna tighten it so that uh, the, the sheeting and everything else doesn't move. Okay, I need to widen it even more. inside and uh, we're going to tighten it I'm going to show you the close-up of what it looks like so that's the MC cable going through the steel collar and when it goes through it goes through just like that you can see it's still moving around because we haven't tightened it and what we want to do is uh, bring it back just like that and then tighten it so that it doesn't goes back and forth anymore and the cable comes out about six inches so that we can wire it to the uh, wall plugs Okay, so the next step we're gonna do is uh, we're going to connect the GFCI wall outlet uh, to this particular cable um, to just one side of it. So we're just gonna connect it to, for example, the left side here. Um, and then we're going to connect the left side with a jumper cable, jumper meaning just a cable for each one of the color, for the white, the black, and the green, to this uh, other non-GFCI wall plug um, so that this will be energized also and the design of this extension cord is so that these are already protected by the GFCI meaning if the GFCI trips this will also uh, be tripped and will not have power and if we have many of these extension cord um, I would connect the next extension cord to these plugs and uh, so that the chain will get broken if any of the extension cord actually trips uh, because of a short circuit or a ground fault um, it will basically trip um, the rest of the um, extension cord going downstream going that way um, instead of this way. This way it does not matter. So anything that is downstream is going to get disconnected uh, if this, this guy trips, for example. Um, yeah, so that's the design. So um, I'm going to uh, do a fast forward. I mean, not a, um, a, a fast, I guess, motion um, video so that uh, it, it will go through uh, what I work on in a few minutes. Here's the finished product and I messed up here I actually bought a box that does not have the uh, four screws on each corner that I can screw that in so um, I'm gonna put the uh, the right part number or the right parts in the description for you guys but um, this cable um, is extra heavy duty as you can see this is a 12 gauge wire 
uh, rated at uh, 120 volts um, with a heavy duty plug here and practically uh, metal, um, all metal enclosure here with the HDMI. So this is HDMI protector also on this side. And uh, yeah, so this cable here is what I call industrial heavy duty um, cable ready to, um, to work. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it useful. If you do, please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.